good to be outdoors again. I really missed it. I've been out for two weeks, weekends, but I couldn't film so much. So uh, I'm out today to uh, try to enjoy being outside and uh, practice what I learned on that uh, Mora Kniv um, adventure. I have been asked about that knife sheath made of uh, birch bark. So I will try to show how that's made. And uh, well, I'm back here again. I was here in a video about maybe a year ago and I had some chaga tea here and uh, made a short hello so that's what I will do today too um, most Swedish woods look like this it's blueberries and uh, scrubs knee high everywhere so what do you do if you want to have a fire in this condition. I'll try to hang up my fire today too. So, say to. There you have it. Hanging grill. Got it from really big monkey one several years ago. Today I added um, a metal cylinder I was hoping to get some sand or gravel so I could put it higher up but I think it will be okay like that uh, it's very dry and we had a wildfire not far away from here not long ago so I will keep it a very small fire and a very controlled fire I hope Try to find a spot where a little sun hit me so you can see me. <laughs> Today it's the 6th of June and it's Swedish National Day, Swedish, the day of the Swedish flag. So I was um, allowed to head out in the woods today on condition I brought a Swedish flag with me. So, whee! <laughs> I need some hot water because I need to soak the birch bark so I can bend it easier and so that I need a fire to heat up some water and I will use my great pot I got from uh, Pot Thunder when I was in uh, Mura on that Mura adventure And I will try to light it with flint and steel with a bird's nest I prepared from home. I wanted to have that fire a little bit higher so I managed to find a few stones. So I will see how that goes. Here's my bird's nest. <laughs> it's um, kind of big grass, small grass. Uh, cattail and birch bark, very thin birch bark. And in here I have my flint and my steel and a magnifying glass. And remember these silica bags and that I protect the moisture from the shard cloth from seems to work very well take one put it Try to find a sharp edge on the stone 
put it on top very close to the edge There, I have a spot. I, I tend to uh, fold it double. Put it in here. See if I can do this. Died on me. I will fluff this burst net up a bit. and make a second try if I can find all my stuff Okay, once again. On top. Glow. Put it inside that. Cover it. If I not shouldn't have done it so big but
huge problem today, right? Yay! Challenge! You know what? I think I will just take this small one and leave this big one because I don't want it to fall down on the grass and the ground. So, okay, third attempt. Or should I bring out the lighter? <laughs> the matches? Nah. I try a third time. Before I turn to lighter and matches and fire steel and such fun stuff find the right corner ha. <laughs> third try Okay, this messed up bird's nest. It's a so small, I think I have it down there, like that. Thank you! The water is slowly heating up. This is the sheath I made in Mura. It's birch bark and spruce or pine roots that you split in half. It's not allowed to take uh, living spruit roots or spruit roots from living trees. So I'll try to uh, show it with a uh, cord instead and then you have the actual uh, birch bark that you clean you take all this uh, white stuff away so you have it cleaned up and you should have it four times the length of the blade four times and as the width that you want to and then we need uh, warm water to dip this in and fold it it's easier to fold if it's dipped in warm or hot water I just turn it around in the hot water. Let's see if I can bend it. And now you take 
and bend it into the middle. Well, I need to find out where the middle is first, right? Like this. And then you turn into the middle. Now you have four layers of bird bark and the knife will actually go inside there. The actual weaving or thing can be made in different ways and the way I made this one you start well where it's folded and I went two times on the outside and then inside uh, one at the other side I will I will show I only done this once so okay the opening is down so you start on top here and this is a sprue drus <laughs> you stick it into half about Let's see if I can do it with cordage. You can trim these edges too with a, a knife. And then you go round two times. And <laughs> it took so long cordage. I, and then you go inside the other opening you come on this side and you go in in that opening So that's the first. Let's see. Okay. You go around the middle part. You come out on the other side and you go around the inner couple, the inner couple of the birch box. two times okay on the other side outside two times and on the inside two times Two times I said. Let's make it two times. Okay. Now, this is easier. 
part I thought I have done wrong but that's really that was correct you start inside and then two times or one time I take two times on outside and then you go and go around those two in the middle two times and then on the outside two more rounds and you keep doing that and you can um, do it your own way one and one in the middle one outside one in the middle or three but that's the and the roots are not as long as paracord and you just add as you start it here you start in the middle and wrap continue Here I added more roots. And also the last one you go in the middle and cut it in the end. And the spruce or the pine roots are also good to heat up in hot water before you start to work with them. It also helps. You can collect whenever you can collect. You can collect as much as you can and roll it up to a bundle. And when you need it you, you put them in hot water and uh, split them and start to work with them. I have uh, pieces of uh, shaga that I cut like uh, sugar bits I think two parts will be okay Everything is packed together again. I will hike back to the car. I had a good time. I hope you have it too. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye bye.